Now, in the previous videos, we have seen what is the depth first traversal. Now, let us see what is the breadth first traversal or breadth first search. Okay. So, we are going to see what is breadth first search and what is breadth first traversal. Okay. So, let us assume we are having this graph. Graph is A. Second node is B. Third node is C. Fourth node is D. And the fifth node is A. Okay. And these are the edges A to B, A to C. C to D, uh, make it C to E, and then B to C. Okay, let us assume we are having this following graph. Right, for this following graph, now let us give the adsense list representation and the adsense matrix representation. Okay, so this is the adsense list representation. These are the five vertices. Vertices are the vertex A, vertex B, C, D. And A. So, what are the nodes which are adjacent to vertex A? The nodes are B and C. So, first node is the node B, and second node is the node C. Okay. Now, for this vertex B, what the what are the nodes which are adjacent to B? They are A and C. So, first is A, and second is C. Right. Now, for this vertex C, what are the nodes which are adjacent to C? The nodes are A, B, D, and E. That means all the nodes are adjacent to C. So A, B, D, and E. Okay. Then for this vertex D, there is only one node which is adjacent to uh, vertex D, which is the node C. And then for vertex E, there is only one node which is adjacent to E, which is the node C again. Okay, this is the adjacency list representation. So, what is the adjacency matrix representation for this? Adjacency matrix representation will look something like this: the vertices are A, B, C, D, and E. Here also A, B, C, D, and E. Right. So, there is a node between A to B and A to C only. Right. So, there is a node between A to B and A to C. There's a node between C to A, C to B, C to D, and C to E. So from C, there are all the nodes are having one, and from B, there's a node between A and C. So from B, there's a node between A and C, right? From D, uh, there's only no one node which is between D and C. From E, there's only one node which is A and C. Okay, and others are zero. All other values are zero. Okay, so this is the sense matrix representation for this given graph. Okay, now let me just write the BFS algorithm and let us see how this BFS algorithm is actually working on this graph. Okay, now remember, in case of depth first search, we use stacks as a data structure. That means we are going to do recursive calls. But in case of breadth first search, we use Q as a data structure, and we are going to use Qs to perform this breadth first search. Okay, so what is this breadth first search algorithm? It is BFS. On some vertex, assume that the vertex is uh, V. Okay, then I'm doing U is equal to V, and we have to do visited of V is equal to one, and then we have to uh, repeat the whole thing. So you can just say uh, repeat for all vertices. W which are adjacent to U, okay. You have to do the following things. One is if visited of W is equal to zero, okay. So it is double equal to zero actually, okay. Then add that vertex W to Q, okay. And then visited of W is equal to one, right? And then after this, we can close uh, this for loop also. So we can say if Q is empty, then return and delete the next element from the Q. So delete the next element 
u from q okay so these are two different statements one is if q is empty then return otherwise delete the next statement from the q right so this is the dfs algorithm right so here this q is actually a data structure where we can say q q okay that means uh, this q is a variable of type q okay so uh, let us see what is happening in this program for this given graph we are having a visited array so assume this is the visited array okay so it is having the nodes which are the nodes a the node b the node c d and e so initially the visited value is zero that means none of the nodes are actually visited okay so we are going to call uh, this breadth first search from the node a okay so uh, here assume that this is the q q so assume this is the q which we are using for our purpose okay now we are going to call bfs on a so when we are going to call bfs on a in that case we have to make the visited of a as 1 that a is already visited right and then all the vertices which are adjacent to a so what are the vertices which are adjacent to a the vertices are the vertex b and the vertex c for all these vertices if their visited is 0 then put these vertices in, into the queue so it is this statement is saying the essentially the same thing that is all the vertices which are adjacent to this vertex a if the visited of those vertex is 0 then add these vertices to the queue and make the visited value as 1 right so here we are uh, uh, the vertices b and c are uh, adjacent to a so we are going to add this b and c to the queue and we are going to make uh, initially we are going to add b then we are going to make the visited value as 1 then we are going to add c then we are going to make the visited value as 1 here okay and then we will come out of this for loop because there are no other vert vertices which are adjacent to this a so we are going to say first statement is if q is empty then return but the q is not empty so q is not empty because q is containing b and c so what we are going to do is delete the next element u from the q and then we are going to uh, perform this uh, this uh, same operation on u right so that means if, uh, if we are going to remove this b from the q then we have to put all because uh, see you can see here we are having this uh, repeat operation because whenever i'm repeating uh, removing this uh, next element from the q then we have to perform the same operation on this b right so what we are going to do is when we are going to remove this b right so in that case we have to see what are the nodes which are adjacent to b so nodes which are adjacent to b are a and c but a the value of adjacent the visited value of a is al already one so we are going to see the next uh, node which is c the visited value of c is already one therefore we are going to remove b completely now the q is only containing c so we are going to take c and we are going to see what are the nodes which are adjacent to c the nodes which are adjacent to c are the, the nodes a the node b the node e and the node d right so from this node a and b they the visited value is already one so we are left with the node e and d so when we are going to remove this c from the q in that case we are going to add the node e and the node d to the q right so then this node e we have when we are going to remove this node e in that case we are going to see what are the adjacent vertices to e here the adjacent vertices is, is only the vertex c in that case uh, which is already visited right therefore we are just going to remove this e from the q and then the last node is d and the only uh, vertex which is adjacent to d is actually the vertex c and which is already visited so this will be the sequence in which we are going to visit visit all these nodes into a breadth first search okay so i guess um, this is a very small example it was let me just take one or two more examples on breadth first search so that the concept is clear to you okay so here uh, this adjacency list is actually uh, telling us what are the nodes which are adjacent to a node right for example if i take the node a then the node b and c are adjacent to a if i take the node c then node a b d and e are adjacent to node c and so on okay and here from this adjacency matrix also i can see what are the nodes which are adjacent to these nodes so whenever i'm going to take a node then i'm going to uh, input all the nodes in the queue which are adjacent to that particular node okay 
so assume that now um, let us solve a gate question this is a gate 2008 question and in this question they are giving a graph and they are saying what are the uh, what is the best for search for uh, this given graph okay and the graph is like this m the node n there's a node q there's a node r there's a node o and there's a node p okay and the edges are like this okay now for this graph they are saying the breadth first algorithm has been implemented using the q data structure and one possible order of visiting the nodes of the following graph is right and the options are m n o p q r option b is n q m p o r option c is q m n p r o option d is q m n p o r okay now in the option 1 so let us take the option 1 the sequence is m n o p q r okay in this sequence initially they visited m so we can just we do not need the complete algorithm for this we can just do it without the algorithm so what we are going to do is like this okay so initially they are going to visit m so we are going to put this m into the queue and when we are going to remove this m from the queue we are going to put all the adjacent uh, all the vertices which are adjacent to m right so the vertices which are adjacent to m are the vertices n q and r so we can put n q and r in any order right so let us put this vertex so let us assume that the first vertex is n second vertex is q and the third vertex is r right therefore when i am going to remove this n right in that case we are going to uh, so when i am going to remove this n right in that case we have to add the vertex which are adjacent to n into the queue so vertices which are adjacent are o and p and q but q is already in the uh, is in the queue but after this we are having the option that we can remove q or we can remove r so what if uh, in the above case you can see from m i have removed n from n i have removed o right but o is not reachable because uh, when we visited this m then from this m we can add only three nodes which are m q and r and these are the adjacent node to m and o and p are the not the adjacent node to m therefore this o and p should not be at this position right therefore this is not a valid option now if you see the option number 2 in the option number 2 to the sequence is n q m p o n r let us see this option in this option initially uh, we have visited n so when we removed n in that case we have to insert all the adjacent vertices to m n the adjacent vertices are m q o right that means we can put any of these vertices in any order right so here you can see you can get a hint that we have uh, put q and then we have put m and we are putting p but p is not uh, adjacent to n right therefore but still let me just try to do this so that it, it will be clear to you so from this n we are having the vertices which are adjacent are m p and o so we can put q m and o right so not p actually the adjacent vertices are m q and o right so we can put m q and o right so when we remove q in that case we have to add the adjacent vertices which are the, the vertices which are adjacent to q and the vertices which are adjacent are m n and p but m and n are already in the queue therefore we are going to put p into the queue so the, the next is we are going to remove m right so when we we are going to remove m then we have to add the adjacent vertices and the adjacent vertices are because q and n are already in the queue right so after this we should remove o but they are removing p right so but p is uh, is not reachable until uh, we remove this o right therefore this option is not valid now let us see the option number c in the option number c the q is m m n p r and o right so initially they are putting q in this uh, uh, in this q right so when we put q then we have to put the adjacent vertices the adjacent vertices are m n and p so we can put m n and p right so after removing this q so then next is we have to remove this m so when we remove this m 
In that case, put the adjacent vertices of M into the queue. The adjacent vertices of the vertex R. So we have to put this vertex R into the queue, right? So after this, we can remove the vertex N. So if you remove the vertex N, in that case, we can put the adjacent vertices here. M, Q, and P are already uh, visited. Therefore, the, there's only one option, which is O. So we can visit only. So then we are left with the P, R, and O. So this option is actually correct. Now let us see the option number D. Option number D is saying Q, M, N, P, O, R. Right. So in this case, we started with the vertex Q. So then, if we remove the vertex Q, we have to add the vertices which are adjacent to Q. The vertices which are adjacent are M, N, and P. So we can put M, N, and P into the Q. So when we remove this vertex M, then we can put the adjacent vertices. The adjacent vertices only R because M, N, and uh, Q are already in the Q. So we can put R here. Then we can remove N. Then from this N, the adjacent vertices are O and M and Q. M and Q are already in the queue, therefore we are going to visit O, right? So we can put O in here, then we can remove P, then we can move R and then we can remove O. But in that case, you see, we have to remove R first as compared to O, therefore here this is causing a problem. So therefore this is also not a correct option, right? So in this option, answer number C is the correct answer, okay?